Northeast's largest express dealer and one of the largest express dealers in the nation. I'm Andy, I'm the express guy here at FNS. If you contact us, more than likely you'll be speaking with me. We just got in another 2024 X23 Bay Lounge, 23 foot. This is their rough water series boats, their X series boats. Like all expresses, they're all aluminum, all welded together. Like competitors, for instance, will rivet floors in and whatnot. Everything is welded together with an express. Uh, they are the inventors of the all uh, aluminum boat, and in my opinion, still lead the industry today. Several series of bay boats, but this is their flagship, their X series. And what that means is uh, you go to a 25 inch transom versus a 20 inch. It's a taller transom for rougher water. Self bailing hull, so if you take a wave over or lots of rain and whatnot, the uh, floor will self bail out the, out the sides here. Huge spray rails on the side. So under the Express logo, you'll see these spray rails. You can kind of understand better from the rear of the boat how they protrude. So basically they help in rough water keep the water out of the boat. They keep the spray from coming in the boat and spray away. Express has quite a reputation for rod and handling in the industry. And what makes that is their hyperlift hull. So what that means is they have a hyperlift pad hull. So at the very bottom of the boat, there's a pad that's about 12 inches wide and about two feet long. So when the boat's running fast with the motor trimmed out, the only thing that's in the water is the pad. That makes the boat ride better because there's very little of the boat in the water and it makes it go faster as well. And then with the aggressive steps, and the reverse chines, these pieces here, they turn on a dime and are very stable. Stability wise with reverse chines and the 102 inch beam on this boat is very stable. Several people can walk to the edge and it moves very little. Yeah. 250 Yamaha SHO. Max horsepower on this boat is a 300 Yamaha, but they uh, they basically perform the same with the 250 SHO. The SHOs have a higher output than the standard motors, so it's basically the same. Most of the X23s that we get in stock, um, we get with 250s. You can actually put twin 150s on as well uh, for special order. When we're mentioning special orders feel free to hit me up you'll see my contact information at the bottom of the screen we welcome special orders uh, or to even customize uh, boats that we have in stock or boats we already have on order we'd be glad to do if it's possible we'd be glad to do it for you other upgrades the extreme trailer package so a tandem axle trailer is standard but then an upgrade with this one you go from a four inch to a six inch frame 18 inch wheels, heavy duty fenders, diamond plate with matching C deck pads on the inside. You can just barely see them peeking out there on the inside of the fenders. Flush mounted taillights and backup lights, ratchet tie downs. Of course, all LED lights are standard with all the models. Hydraulic disc surge brakes, and then we upgrade all of our stock units to uh, both axle brakes, not just a single. Matching spare tire and mount. Saltwater trailer package, which then you get the bunks to be covered in composite versus the carpet. And then upgraded bow roller. If you're not familiar with us, check out our Google reviews and Facebook reviews. We're very proud of our service. We have a great service reputation here at FNS. Um, we pride ourselves in it. Uh, we're third generation. My grandfather started uh, in a sporting goods store in the late 40s. My dad spun the boats off in the late 80s, and I started uh, about 30 years ago. So that's all my family has ever known. But along with that service that we're proud of, 
Uh, we have customers come from all over the nation to buy boats from us, uh, from everywhere. Uh, we welcome pickup and I also do delivery as well. Um, that's a case by case. Uh, feel free to contact me for uh, specifics, but a lot of times I'll meet people halfway is the most popular thing to do. Uh, but we also have a retired customer that helps us deliver boats as well. But feel free to hit me up and I'd be glad to explain. And along with our service, uh, we go through every boat that we sell very thoroughly. Uh, so not just Express, but every boat in the industry and every brand. There are certain things that will need tweaked and fixed, uh, repaired from the factory when the dealer gets it. And the good dealers will take their time to go through every boat uh, to make sure it's as trouble-free as possible. It takes usually at least a day or sometimes a day and a half to go through every boat very thoroughly. And then we also water test every boat because there are certain things that we can only test in the water. We go to the water to do that. And then we also go to the water with many customers um, to show you how to use your boat. Go through everything very thoroughly here on land, but then we take it to the next step and go to the water and show you as well. U-Flex hydraulic steering, that's an upgrade. Um, I get all of our bay boats, I get U-Flex steering. It's a better corrosion resistance than their Sea Star system. That's why I get it with all of our bay boats. Speed-wise, the Yamaha 250 SHO, your uh, upper 50s to 60, depending on the day and how you have a lo boat loaded and whatnot. Check our other videos. I have a video running one of these X23s uh, in some pretty rough chop, two foot plus, and, and we're running it basically all but 60 mile an hour in that two foot chop. They're, they're quite remarkable what these are capable of. They're quite a bit deeper. They're about 25% deeper than what their H series boats are. As far as sides, for instance, of course, we talked about the tar transom. I have another video that's a side by side comparison between an H24 and an X23 that goes back to back to show you the differences between the, the H and X because it's a very common question on the differences between the two. Uh, C deck floor covering. If you're not familiar with C-Deck, uh, that's this floor covering that I'm touching here. Basically, C-Deck has all the advantages of carpet with none of the disadvantages. Uh, hooks don't snag in it, cleans easily, dries quickly, very rugged. And down the road, if you do damage a panel, you can just replace one small panel. It's kind of cool. This also upgrades, has the Extreme Marsh package. I'm gonna jump in the boat here now to explain in more detail, but lots of things that come with the Extreme Marsh package. Um, hydraulic jack plate uh, for one, and then I upgrade all of our boats from the six inch standard to 10 inch. They work better with the 10 inch, perform a little bit better. Upgraded uh, fish finder, and then this one is upgraded beyond the package up to a 10 inch hummingbird side imaging. Upgraded uh, trolling motor, but again, this is upgraded even beyond the, that to the Minn Kota Tarova 36-volt uh, iPilot unit. And then also two upgrades, I get the quick disconnect bracket, so you can easily take the trolling motor on and off. And then the heavy-duty plug as well, which is this plug here. Also with the package, you get auto bilge, so then you have two bilges, a manual and an automatic. Comes also in that package with the extreme stainless package. So then pretty well everything that could be stainless in the boat is. Uh, rod holders, steering wheel, leaning posts with footrest and backrest, six cleats, foldable stainless. So three on each side, all part of the Extreme Marsh package. Upgrade trolling motor wiring, onboard battery charger, which the trolling motor batteries with the charger are in the console. In here, you can see the fuse panel and the battery trays, battery charger. Also part of the package, uh, the switches on the dash then are stainless push button versus the plastic rocker. 
it can be very confusing all the different packages and options with Express, but uh, feel free to hit me up. It's my job to help you understand it, uh, whether it's with this boat or a special order boat. I make info sheets to help you better understand all the scenarios. Um, you'll see my contact info. Feel free to hit me up and I'll email you one of those to help you better understand it. And then we'll walk through that info sheet together to step by step to help you better understand it as well. 10 person capacity. This is the lounge model. So as you can see, there is a big lounge seat in front of the console. It's very popular. See how big that lounge seat is. And then underneath the lounge seat is an insulated fish box. Which is here. So it's insulated uh, with an oscillating pump. So it doesn't pump in, uh, but it does pump out. Like if you, of course, catch your fish and put them in here and put them on ice, that oscillating pump will pump out the water and ice that's in there to drain it out. And oscillating pumps in the back, which I'll show you here in a minute. Also standard with an X23 is this front jump seat. And then that folds down like so. More deck space. Lots of deep storage. I'll use this as an example. Storage underneath the jump seat. Now what you can't tell by the video is that storage is 24 inches deep. That's a deep storage. And then again, deep storage where rod storage goes in here. This is 22 inches deep and goes all the way up under front deck. More storage here. Again, real deep down in here. The other rod storage. You also have rod storage on the sides. You see those rod holders peeking out underneath the gunnels there. So you can put some real long rods in here because they, they also go up into tubes, which are right here and go all the way up pretty well, most of the way up the boat. But it also has lights kit. So what that means is all the compartments are lit. Live wells are lit and there is a light on the, on both sides of the console, which is right there. Wet sound stereo with four speakers. This stereo right here. Wash down pump. So there is a high pressure wash down pump uh, that pumps water from the lake, river, whatnot, um, with a hose to wash down the interior of the boat. Hydraulic jack plate, which is also, like I said, part of the Fishery Marsh package. Gauges, tack, trim, fuel gauge, water pressure gauge. This boat currently has Home and Bird Mancota electronics on it, but we'd be glad to upgrade. If you want to change to Garmin, um, or if you want more grass and more units, we do a lot of electronic custom installs here for whatever you have in mind, for additional units up front, at the console, different trolling motor, shallow water anchors. Um, I'd be glad to do and figure up whatever you have in mind, or if you need some help, I'd be glad to help you with it as well. We do a lot of custom installs, and we stock almost everything from shallow water anchors power pole charge lithium battery upgrades we sell dakota lithiums see clear wiring harnesses we stock all of that product jump seats on either side of the leaning post and then again more storage underneath each jump seat and again it's deep that's about 20 inches deep under there Behind the leaning post is where the aerated, recirculated live well is, with recirc as well. Back here is where the 75 gallon fuel tank is housed. There's also a tray that goes in here. I took it out for the video, just to, I didn't have enough hands, but 
um, the white portion to the left there is a 75 gallon fuel tank. At the bottom, you'll see that yellow and black pump. That's an oscillating pump for the fish box. And then both bilges are in here, of course, battery. We talked about how Express's rod and handle in the hyperlift hull, and here is a cutout of how the hulls are put together. So the yellow sticker is the bottom of the boat. This would be the floor, cross members, and then foam is sprayed between the floor and the bottom of the boat. It makes for a very quiet ride. It also gives more storage because most of the storage, I'm sorry, is not taken up with flotation. The flotation is in the bottom of the boat. And then spray and liner is sprayed everywhere. On top of the boat, underneath every lid and every hatch. It's all those little things that make for a quiet ride. Not only is it sprayed everywhere, but it's very thick. So a lot of cost or a lot of boat companies spray it, but they don't spray it on very thick. It's hard to tell by the video how wide and big this boat is. They just absolutely dwarf pretty well any other aluminum boat. They're just so big with a 102 inch beam. The videos just don't do it justice. I appreciate you watching. Uh, feel free to contact me with any questions. Again, I'm Andy with F&S. Have a great day.